I wanted to make a quick follow-up video uh, about the Google Chromecast. So what we're looking at right here is my uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 3. And I have the Chromecast app open. And so they have what they call Screencast. And this is only with uh, the Android version as far as cast screen. So you call, see it in the menu there, it says cast screen. So if I slide that back and then uh, cast the screen, and then it asks me living room, and that's my big, that's the only uh, Chromecast that I have, so I'm going to tap on that. And so it connects, and then you can see that uh, I've got my phone screen right on the television. So there's, I'm holding it, and so if I rotate it, probably nothing, yeah, there it went. <laughs> it rotated. So, rotate it back the other way, and it, it, there it is. So, anyway, if I get out of that, what I wanted to do was demonstrate uh, Amazon Instant Video. Now, Amazon Instant Video does not work that I can find even though there's an Android app for Amazon Instant Video, it does not work with Chromecast. And that's Amazon choosing not to make it work. Trying to be Apple, I guess. Pretending that they're Apple. However, if I want to watch this on my television, it's pretty easy. Because all I've got the screencast going. And I've already tried this. So let's say I want to uh, watch the trailer. So I'm going to tap on Watch Trailer. And then we'll see kind of what happens. We wait for it to load. There it loaded. And so there you can see that uh, you can see that there it is. Now I have the sound actually kind of turned down. So there is sound coming through the sound system, but I do have it kind of turned down at this point. Uh, I could probably turn it up, but I turned it down so that I could make the video. So the and it does come through on the surround sound. It does seem to. Now, I don't have the best uh, internet connection right here. I'm just on a DSL, kind of a slower DSL connection. But it is fast enough to stream video. And so you can see there's just a little bit of a lag between the video on the phone and the video on the television. But it's, it's uh, absolutely watchable. I would be able to watch a movie like this on the big screen. Now, of course, there's really no need to because I have a Roku box uh, that's got the, the app built right into it as far as Amazon goes. But uh, the next thing I want to do, let's back out of that. The next thing I want to do is uh, demonstrate the Chromecast with my uh, iPad Air. So that'll let me stop this, and that'll be the, the next part of the video. Okay, I've installed the uh, Chromecast app on the iPad, and it uh, seems to actually it's working, because I've, I've started a YouTube video playing, and so that you, you can see that it's uh, working exactly the way it works on Android and the YouTube app. It uh, kind of, you get the progress bar going across, but that's what's going on on the screen. So at, at right now, I'm sort of using the iPad as uh, the remote control. So if I, I'm going to go ahead and stop that, and we can see that it stopped up there. And I want to go ahead and uh, I don't know if I. Let's see. Let's. The other thing I was curious about was whether Amazon videos would play on here. Because there is currently there is no screen mirroring for the iPad. However, there is a workaround. If Amazon videos won't play directly, there there's another workaround that might possibly cause it to work. The other question is uh, iTunes content. Uh, so anyway, let's see if we can find the Am. Whoops, hit that twice. There's the Amazon Instant Videos app. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. And that is loading, and I suspect that uh, it probably won't play on it through the Chromecast. I'd be shocked if it did. Let's see. Uh, 
Let's go ahead and just tap on one of these. So it doesn't really matter what it is. Can I get it to play? Watch episode. Well, let's tap up there. There we go. So that's on there, and it's probably going to start playing on the iPad. And I don't think I don't see any Chromecast uh, icon, so I would say no, can't do that. However, there is a. Uh, we go back to the App Store right here. And that's where I just downloaded and installed the Chromecast app. But you can see that there's a. Uh, we can get that to focus right there. There's another app here. It's called Video TV Cast Browser for Chromecast. And I'm not I'm not going to buy this thing. It's got a bunch of in-app purchases. And I don't really care, you know, so much to use my iPad as the controller because it's just easier to use my phone, quite frankly. But uh, this thing, it looks like uh, you can... Do a bunch of things that uh, you know they're adding a bunch of functions as far as what the thing can do. Uh, it says cast web videos, cast local videos. So right now I don't. There's no way I can I can cast to Chromecast. There's no way I can cast a, a video that's locally recorded on my iPad. I can't send that to my television. However. Uh, with this app, I would be able to do that if I if I really wanted to be able to send my own uh, videos from this directly up to the TV using the Chromecast. Then uh, that's what I would I would buy. I would go ahead and get this app, and the app does have uh, it does have in-app purchases. Uh, see, it says in-app purchases and I don't know. I would just go ahead if it was me and I was going to buy it. I'd just go ahead and get the premium premium edition. There you can see it's for six six ninety nine. If that would focus six ninety nine, and you'd get the whole thing, and that might well end up uh, working. So there, that is kind of a workaround uh, that would probably give you a bunch of extra. Functions and then there's other there's other Chromecast apps. Uh, there's this Photocast for Chromecast, and uh, it looks like let's see that at least sends photos. I don't know about videos, and quite frankly, I don't you know I'm not really concerned about it too much. Uh, but there are a lot of different apps for Chromecast on the iPad. Uh, so, I would say that it kind of, the functionality is probably eventually going to get there. It's not quite, right now you got better functionality with, uh, if you've got an Android device. However, there's a lot of... Uh, stuff available for the iPad and for iOS in general for using with the Chromecast. Uh, and there's really just the YouTube function alone as far as able being able to uh, to uh, queue up videos, just that function alone kind of makes it worth uh, having it see because then you can just add things to the queue and you can you can be watching a video of course I paused it but you can be watching a video and just keep adding stuff to the queue and you got this thing right here in your lap and it's easy to read and that's the what I'm you know I spent several hours last night uh, after I got this thing and got it installed I spent several hours just sort of watching uh, videos and normally I would you know I've I've got the ability I do have a Roku player I've got the ability to uh watch video uh on YouTube with via the Roku app using the Roku remote control but it's just it's nice to be able to to stack these videos up all in a line because it's really akin to uh programming it's kind of akin to programming your own television channel See if so if I go ahead and bring that back up and then unpause it, 
you can see that it's starting to uh, play once again. So overall, for $35, uh, $33 on Amazon if you've got an Amazon Prime, uh, and a free second day shipping, $35, the uh, Chromecast, I would say, is worth it even if you're on iOS because as there are, although you don't quite have the same functional function function functionality which I don't really care for that word but uh, I guess it's got a place if it doesn't quite have the same functionality as an Android device has but on the other hand it's uh, for $35 you can't really go wrong there's no reason in the world because you got multiple HDMI inputs there's no reason in the world why you can't, uh, in an ideal world, you've got a, maybe an Apple TV and you've got Roku boxes and you've got a more, you know, Chromecast, uh, you know, have one on each television. And what's, you know, the $35 is pretty cheap. So pretty impressed with the Chromecast overall.